story you'll see only on two. A north side woman recounts the moments a dog attacked her over the weekend. She tells her story to our Darius Johnson in hopes of getting some answers. I spoke to a woman still bruised and bandaged, all while hoping to find the owners to get some answers. A vibrant north side neighborhood. This is a very populated area. The Those who live in Sheridan Park describe it as walkable, people friendly, and usually very dog friendly. But Kristen Kelly's encounter with the family and their dogs Friday night on Sunnyside in Dover as she headed to her boyfriend's was an unfamiliar experience. Uh, I got off the bus on Friday night after work about 8 o'clock. I walked down Sunnyside to head to where he lives and I, a family approached. They had some little kids and two dogs. She says there was no interaction whatsoever. As they approached, because it was a family, I didn't really think that anything bad was going to happen. The man passed with the first dog, but when the woman, second dog and two kids approached. Third dog passed me, jumped up, lunged, attached itself to my right breast or my left breast, sorry, and uh, wouldn't let go, and then I'm screaming, screaming, your dog is ripping my boob off. I put my arm up like this when it jumped again toward my face, and it um, punctured my arm. She says the family kept walking and did not address what happened. Kelly continued to follow, hoping to get their attention, but nothing. They literally turned around, strolled away, and could not have cared less. She called 911 and her boyfriend, but later found help at Ryan's, a liquor store just down the street. That's her in this surveillance video in the black t-shirt bleeding from her left arm. Those inside quickly grabbed a first aid kit to assist. These guys were heroes that night for me um, at a time I really needed it, and thank you guys. <laughs> kind of like it was a big help. We'd like to be here for you know our neighbors, our neighborhood, and our customers. Neighbors helping neighbors. Now Kelly is on a mission to keep this sunny side neighborhood friendly for all walks of life. I don't want to give this up because what if I had been a small child? What if I had been an older person? What if I had been someone with disabilities? This is a very populated area. People have kids. People have little animals. Um, this is this was very scary. There was no provocation and it was in one heartbeat of an instant that this dog was on me. Kelly tells me she spent her Saturday in the hospital to learn if the dog was vaccinated and if she needs a rabies shot. In the meantime, Animal Control advised her to file a police report. She plans to do that in the morning. In Sheridan Park tonight, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS2 News.